my frustration at, at having to now go back to doing, you know, press receptions for Percy Faith and Ray Conniff and Patty Page and Doris Day mm -hmm. and Tony, the dear, wonderful Tony Bennett, taking him to Leonard Feather uh, for Leonard's uh, blindfold test uh, feature that appeared in Downbeat. Uh, Tony was great. I loved working with Tony. Um, I thought, I don't want to go back to do doing that. Mm. There's something else I should be doing or that the record company should be doing. And since John Hammond was a, a director of artist acquisition, Columbia should be involved in formally recognizing its role in, quote, artist development. And in my recollection, only Motown developed its artists as well, giving its artists singing lessons and dancing lessons mm -hmm. and whatnot. And if you, I argued that if you have a five-year contractual relationship with an artist, you're in the development business whether you want to be or not. And so I recommended to them that they create a manager of uh, artist acquisition and development position. And they asked me who I thought I should report to since it crossed over marketing and A&R. And I thought at the time that they were asking me who should have the authority to fire me in a position that I had created. So <laughs> I was a little bit uncomfortable but deciding that. So they decided I should go into A&R, uh, which was fine. Then I became frustrated when I would present all of these people, thanks to living the life that I had always done going to the Troubadour, going to the Ashgro, going out around town, hanging out with whomever I was hanging out with artists, going to Barney's Beanery, the fabulous hangout for for visual artists, for painters and whatnot. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side.